everyone and thank you for joining me on a shell finding adventure oh boy the waves are pumping out there but i have spotted our first shell find it is right down here just a little white cowrie i guess it's something that's faded over time but gosh i just i just like it you know i like white shells whoa what is that thing and is it a shell let's see is it a rock oh no it's a shell Oh, what an unusual one. Um, it's either a frigid cone. Oh, it's, it's slippery because of that brown stuff on it that looks like slime. Um, it's either a frigid cone or a terebra cone. I'm not really sure. It's super old though. You can see it's got quite a hole in the tip, but that's a pretty cool one. I wasn't expecting to see that. Oh, look at that beauty. It's a wonderful looking flat sand snail. Got a very nice chocolate color right there. The, uh, the proper name for this one is Inces Moon Snail. There we go, just a lovely little guy. Oh wow, Ooh, let's get that out of the flashing sun. That looks like a pretty dang cool limpet. My goodness, I don't think I've ever seen one with a design like that. It's all like, I don't know how to describe that. Almost like a spider web, but not really. That's a super cool one, wow. There we go. I don't know if you can see it, but that looks like a live crown cone. That little like red tip at the end there is its harpoon stinger. So while one of these little ones won't kill you, it will feel extremely very not good. So do be careful when you pick these up. I am going to use a bit of coral just to tip him back over. There you go. Ooh. You know what? I'm just not going to touch it. Eh. There we go. He's, he's back over, he'll figure it out. There is an unoccupied crown cone. Unoccupied because there's just rocks in there. Usually snails like to keep their homes fairly clean of them. I'll go with my off-camera scallop find. Well, oh my, doesn't that one look quite nice? Let's pick him up. Oh, he does have a tip. Oh, he's got a little hole in the top of him too. Well, there we go. Otherwise, it is a very nice zebra volute shell. Quite lovely. I have trouble finding them with the tip sometimes. That's always the first to go on them. Gosh, that is a good one. I could put like a cord through there and turn it into a necklace if I wanted to. Oh, wow, what's this one? Oh, oh. I mean, it's a bivalve, but it's like a joined one with kind of a nice yellow color and pattern with some nice like orange on the inside. That's just sand in there. It's not part of a creature or anything. Awesome, I like that one. Looks pretty cool, I think. Right there is an interesting looking auger shell. Interesting because it looks kind of big and that it had a big crack through there at one stage that the snail fixed. It kind of gives it almost like a lopsided appearance. Well, that's kind of a fun one. <laughs> oh, look at that, the second zebra volute today. Oh, this one also has the tip. Oh, wow, this one's in very nice condition. Oh, oh, no, I spoke too soon. It's missing the tippy top of the tip. And there's something on it. Let's just remove that one. There you go. I still like that, though. I think that's a fantastic shell. Cool, definitely a taker. I see snakehead number one today. Let's take a look. Oh, it is whole and empty. Oh, I do like that one. It just has a kind of like a semi worn away on top but it makes the pattern even cooler appearance what look at our little friend down there it's a uh, lined bubble shell or or something like that and he's alive gosh he's just trying to get out of the sunlight because he's a he's a nocturnal creature i guess oh, he might be coming around oh my goodness he's so cute oh my god let's take a look at this moon snail Oh, it's quite a good one. Oh yeah, don't mind that one at all. Just pretty common here, but they are certainly very nice. This is a lucky hole. We have the little bear conch. Our tiny little stromba shell. Gosh, that one looks good. Oh, that kind of looks yellow. Oh, it is yellow. Oh wow, it's a conical moon snail, but I've never seen a yellow one before. Oh, I like that color. It looks super cool. Well, my, 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 I do see a volute sitting right there. Missing the tip, of course. Let's grab it. Oh, stretch. Oh, squat down and stretch. Ready? Oh, there we go. Ooh. 
Oh my goodness, look at that one. Oh my goodness, there's a cowrie in it. Is that a spotted deer cowrie in it? Oh wow, <laughs> that is a surprise. I only just saw sand in there. You know what? That's still kind of cool. That's going to be a garden volley, probably. I like that one. Well, I was looking at that rather nice moon snail there, but I also just looked down before stepping forward and found... What? Look at that Arosa! Whoa, the pattern on that is absolutely beautiful. It's got like super dark brown spots in its green. That is lovely. I wonder if that'll dry glossy. It feels pretty nice. And of course, oh, stretch, Maddie. Oh, stretch. Oh, oh I pulled something. Oh, I'm sure I did. <laughs> there we go. A rather nice moon snail. Ooh, pick it up, pick it up. Ooh, yes. I got a little scaly scallop from that um, underwater micro shell pile that's there. Ooh, backing up, backing up, backing up. Oh, that's a nice one. Hello, what's this? What's this? It's just a very, very pretty bivalve. Look at the color and patterns on that one. I definitely think that's a gorgeous little shell. Wow. Ooh, there we go. Pick it up. <laughs> A big bean trivia, very nice. Well, 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 what do we have down here? A few things take my interest. First of all, a brown cowrie. This moon snail especially, are you occupied? Oh no, you're not occupied. What, I thought that was gonna be crab legs in there, but it's just a big old rock. A very nice conical moon snail. And what's this? It's, it's, oh, it's just a piece of a bonnet. It can stay. But hey, that's still pretty cool. I really like that moon snail. Ah, uh, yes. And here we see the golfus bolus shellis in its natural habitat. Let's, uh, let's pick it up and say hello, shall we? Oh, stretch. Oh, God. Oh, my God, it's wedged. Oh, my God, you're wedged. I want the golfus bolus shellis. <laughs> <laughs> oh, up we get. Woo! Woo! We did it! Well done, everyone! I couldn't have done that without you all encouraging me on. Oh boy, it's windy over here. Uh, I see a kind of nice triton. Let's pick it up. Woo! There we go. Awesome! Just a nice little triton shell, I guess. I reckon a crab has like eaten away at the lip there just to make it like easier for it to crawl around with. Awesome. Oh, is that a rock or a cowrie? Oh boy, oh boy. Oh, it's a cowrie. Oh wow. Oh wow. That is a very black cowrie. I don't know if I'm going to keep that one, to be honest. It's a spotted deer cowrie, I guess. Was there an arosa next to it? Yes, there was. Let's pick it up. Ooh, butterfingers. There it is. Ooh, there we go. Oh, wow. That is a very pretty Arosa shell. My goodness, it is. It's just a bit longer and narrower and it's just got a very pretty color on top of it. I don't mind that one at all. But my goodness, well, I just messed this up with my foot to kind of bring more things to the surface. I see a lot of good things, first of all. Ooh, that could be a gem snakehead. It feels very glossy. I'm saving the best to last. I know you can see it. Um, uh, zebra volley without the tip and before the waves come wow yes it is half gone but look at the top of that captain cone wow I just really like that you know that's a very pretty captain cone what a yummy forbidden cornetto on top I think that's just absolutely super duper cool and such a shame that it is missing its point but still I do kind of like that you know before the waves come back, I see. Oh, a very nice zebra volute. Wow. I was given a few off camera as well by a nice shellow who only liked cowries. And over here, oh, a very, very nice looking moon snail. There we go. I wonder if I can like uh, swirl around this. Oh, is that a captain cone? Oh, is it? Is it? Is it? What? No way. It's another captain cone. I say another because I got a very big one uh, last week. What? That's just a little bit beaten up, but that's so cool. 
Wow, Captain Cones are appearing like magic around here, I guess. Wow. Well, I originally saw this snakehead right here because that one is quite nice. And then right next to it, it looks super glossy and very, very beautiful. Wow, that could be a gem one. I'm not sure, but gosh, that is a lovely blue cowrie. Uh, the common name is the yellow-toothed cowrie and its Latin name is Sopraea xanthodon. Oh, there we go. Got a little yellow and white cowrie. That's a pretty cute little guy. I don't think I've really seen many that color. It's probably a faded something or rather though. Well, 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 what's this one? Woohoo! Look at that pretty little deer cowrie. I don't know if it's quite as good as uh, some of the ones I've gotten here previously. It's got a bit of a hole in it, but gosh, I don't mind that one. Oh, right down there is some kind of a, a dove or a mitra shell. Oh, I like the look at that one. It's got a very nice color. Oh, I'm gonna drop it. I just know I'm going to drop it. Are you kidding me? Like. The tide's coming up. I was like minutes away from leaving and then BAM! This is just here. Watch out! Woohoo! It is empty! Are you kidding me? I thought I was going to leave. This was like a last ditch effort to find some nice shells before I went. Like I didn't know if I felt like I found enough today to be personally satisfied but oh my goodness! Just like right out there just randomly is a big Arabian. <laughs> yep, I am very happy with this one. Wow, so here are the shell finds for today. And if you've enjoyed them, oh my goodness, please hit that like button and maybe subscribe to see more. But for now, let's talk about a favorite. And as always, please let me know in the comments which, oh, which ones are your favorites too, because I am dying to find out. Uh, let's see, my favorite today it probably won't be the big Arabian, although it is quite nice. It didn't turn as white as I thought it would in the sunshine. It's like, uh, it's weird because I really like this kind of broken Captain Cone. I just really love Captain Cones. I found a massive one last week, which I was super duper happy with. And you'd think I would have gotten enough of Captain Cones by now, but I haven't really. Um, but for sure, the favorite for me today, I know there was a competition, not a competition, but like an argument last month about, ooh, do you like snakeheads or if you like Erosas more? Um, and I'm definitely an Erosa fan, and I must say, I just really like this Erosa in particular. It's got such a lovely color on top, very nice and green, and I just like the, uh, the very deep brown spots it has as well. It's just a very lovely shell, so that one, is probably my surprise favorite for the day. Isn't that odd? And that's it for this time, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. Bye, guys.